Hi all, it's Susan here. I wanted to do just a brief video to uh, let you know that I uh, won't be doing the live healing tonight on YouTube because I'm still recovering. I, um, I also wanted to share with you why I can't do it and what happened because I feel it's important. I'm a very private person in that regard, but sometimes when things happen to you, they're actually, um, they're happening to a lot of other people as well. And it's helpful for everyone to have an insight into what's going on. So we've all been hearing a lot about the matrix, leaving the matrix, the inverted matrix and all of that. And uh, that's what's been going on for me, but it was in a very dramatic way. So I had, I got poisoning, like a food poisoning thing. And uh, it went into my liver and my liver, I mean, it was terrible. It swelled up and uh, my uh, uh, digestive system seized up and I was in a tremendous amount of pain. And obviously, uh, people would say, go to the hospital, go to the hospital, which um, is all, you know, all okay. But I got a very strong message, no, don't go to the hospital. Maybe because I don't think hospitals can actually deal with this sort of situation that I was going through. Not, not, I'm not meaning anyone else. I'm not telling people not to go to the hospital. If it makes you feel good and it makes you feel safe, then by all means do it. But I don't feel safe and I didn't feel safe. And I got a very strong message not to go, so I didn't. And um, what I decided to do was to fast and to only drink a seer and water, that's it. So I did that for almost a week and the pain didn't go. Like, I mean, the pain is like, anyone who's had a child knows what labor is like. They know what a, contraction is like and can you imagine having a contraction without no breathing time in between and you know when you're in labor you can't just fall asleep uh, you know you don't fall asleep in the breaks or anything like that so the pain was so strong and and so consistent it was I didn't get a break I mean I literally did not get a break from the pain so um, obviously Yanni wanted to take me to the hospital, but I really didn't want to go. And uh, I think uh, three or four days in, I, I bargained with God, you know, God, please, please um, help me. You can heal this immediately, the power of God. You know, you can, you can take this away from me. Why are you allowing me to suffer? Blah, 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 blah. And then, of course, by the fifth day, it was... Um, just take me, just let me die, just take me now, just take me, I'm ready to go because I, I, I literally cannot bear this anymore. And I, I was so exhausted. I was like in between worlds, you know? So anyway, I, I spoke to a friend, a friend rang me and she's a good healer and I said, can you help me, can you heal this? And she said, no. I'm not allowed to help you. She said, I, you know, I'll do anything for you and I definitely uh, heal this for you, but I, I'm not allowed to. You have to do it yourself. You have to go in and you have to figure out what this is. This is to do with the inverted matrix and you need to, to do it yourself. And I was like, oh, I always have to do everything myself, blah, 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 you know. And true friend tells you the truth. Right? True friend says, I'm sorry, However, you have to do it yourself and I know that you can, but let's talk again tomorrow if you can't. Let's see if I can help you then. So I says, okay. And I thought, all right, let's do it. So I closed my eyes and uh, called in my higher self. And because I, I was thinking to myself, how the hell am I supposed to you know, tune in when I'm in so much pain. And that goes for everyone, whether it's physical, emotional, mental, or energetic pain. It's very hard to tune in when you're in that amount of pain for that amount of days and you're exhausted. It's really hard. What it takes is for you to let go and really surrender on a deep level. 
So anyway, I did. And I closed my eyes and I asked for my higher self to come in. And um, my higher self came in and then I saw Jesus. And I said, Jesus, because I have a good relationship with Jesus. Oh, you can heal this. Thank you so much. Please heal this. Blah, blah, blah. And he just looked at me and went, no. Nah. Um, what do you mean no? You know, what do you mean no? I've, I've had situations like in my life where, you know, I've really injured myself and I put my hand on this place and said, Jesus, please heal this. I don't have time to be ill or a broken bone or anything. And it's been healed in seconds, right? So I, I've had that happen. So I thought Jesus could do it for me. And Jesus was like, no, I'm not going to do it for you. But he didn't say anything, so he just shook his head. Because often masters don't say anything. They let you figure it out yourself. But their presence triggers a knowing in you, right? So anyway, then I... Um, I said, okay, I went to I went to the healing place that I go to for me, which is often at times outside the universe, outside the, the, the earth system. So I went there, I, I felt myself there. I didn't, it was like seeing and feeling, okay? It's not all in my mind, it's not in my mind. It can't be in my mind. It has to be, um, I, I was surprised that I could do it given the amount of pain. I was surprised I was able to, kind of separate from my body but anyway I did and then I um, saw my higher self standing over my body and then I saw this like lines like a matrix like a computer line you know system going into my body and I said to to myself what because you can't say Oh, just take everything in the matrix away from me, blah, blah, blah. No, it's like people saying to their guides, just heal what you think I need to heal. Or take it all away in one for all the pain I've ever felt, take it all away in one. But you're not defining the pain or anything, you know, it's kind of immature, right? You have to be precise when it comes to these things. So I said, okay, to my other self, show me what part of the matrix is affecting me right now uh what, what you know what is it and i saw persecution humiliation and and i think it was two other things but i i really at this point can't remember because sometimes when you heal something you just forget it you forget it almost immediately afterwards so um i saw the matrix of that stuck to me like fibers stuck in my body outside my body auric field nadis chakras everything i saw it and i started to you know i asked my higher self okay pull this out pull this out and as she was pulling it out i was seeing the past lives but not only the past lives this life and i i could see how in my childhood in this life, why I needed to suffer so much because the matrix, the inverted matrix, needs to reattach itself. When you, when you come in as a child, you're innocent. And when you have a bleed through from a part, you, you can have a bleed through from a past life that attached you to the matrix. You can also have a um, emotional experience, a mental experience, etc., that will attach you to that matrix that you were in in a past life, right? So I saw all of these things that happened to me as a child. I, I, I remember things I literally had completely forgotten, like some of the beatings that I had when I was young. And I remembered the pain, the pain of those beatings in my body, how hurt I was, you know? And I remembered um, humiliation, And how that affects you. So I remembered all these things and attached it to this life. And um, my higher self removed it. Listen, I'm sorry. Even if I look like shit because I only had the, the energy to put some lipstick on. 
but I was told to do this video to help others, you know. Anyway, I uh, probably regret it later because I look like shit. I'll regret not having waited another day to put some makeup on. So um, I, uh, I felt all of these things. I saw all of these things. I understood the whole lineage of it for my spirit, right? And how it reconnected to my physical body. It locked itself in in the physical, which is the densest, um, the densest uh, dimension. So, yeah, did that, cried for like an hour and a half. I cried so deeply, I couldn't breathe. Like like a child really, really howling. And I, I do remember crying like that as a child from pain and stuff. I do remember crying. But this was on another level. It was, it was from my soul and my bones and everything. It was bizarre. So I did that. And then uh, Jesus came back and showed me his death. And I, I, the memory of his death, because I know that I was there when he died. I was there at the foot of the cross. So he showed me the memory of his death and um, the words that he spoke. The first one that he showed me was, um, Father, why have you forsaken me? which was me a few days earlier. I'll give you anything. Please help me. Why aren't you not doing this for me? I deserve it, blah, 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 which is true. I felt at the time and um, the bargaining and everything and uh, the kind of, and it's true of my life also. I always felt that obviously, especially when I was young, that no one helped me and that's what the matrix I was in for, for pretty much my whole life. And, uh, and then he said, you know, forgive them, they know not what they do, which was not only a release for everyone around him because he didn't want to have any karmic ties to anyone, but a release, it was a magical thing for the world and a magical thing for himself. It didn't tie him to this earth. And then um, he said, it is done when he died. Right, so he showed me this. And um, I realised a lot of things from, from what he said to me. And then he gave me some personal messages that really helped me understand stuff that he told me when I was young, which I never really understood. So he helped me with that. And I swear to you, half an hour later, the pain in my body was gone. And so I actually slept two hours that night. I didn't sleep because I was, um, you know, tossing and turning. I did have still a little bit of residual pain. My whole skin was sensitive and everything, but the big pain that I was having in my belly and that was gone. And I was also overtired. You know, sometimes when you're overtired, um, you can't sleep. So I slept for about two hours. And I think... It, not last night, but the night before I slept a solid eight hours, which is pretty good. Last night I had broken sleep again. But, um, oh, that's right. Part of the reason I didn't sleep was because I was still just drinking water and I had to get up and pee. Like, you know, every half an hour or an hour or something. So it was pretty intense. And, um, so now I'm on the mend, but what I want to, the, the message here is, as you release from the inverted matrix, I don't know if it's going to be easy for everyone. I mean, I, I, I thought I was a contender for it to be easy, but seems you have to release it. Oh, and that's right. The last thing that I realized in that healing from my higher self and that was that my body was poisoned. And I realized the reason my body was poisoned that it took a poisoning is because my body is poisoned. It's poisoned from the food, from the air, from the water. I mean, I have good water, shit air like everyone else, but, but the food has poisoning in it. Even though I eat, eat, eat quite well, I still have a, a weakness for pastries. I mean, I don't eat them every day, but I still have a weakness for them. And I would often make a lot of things, um, using flour, like I make flatbread or something like that. And 
I realized that all of these products, all of the products that we use have chemicals in them, whether it's the flour, the sugar, I don't really use sugar, but you know, it doesn't matter what it is. It all has poisoning in it. You can't trust any of it. And um, especially when you eat out, right? So uh, what I'm saying is that this inverted matrix is attacking our bodies by poisoning us and locking itself into the body so that we can't get out of it. People are addicted to all sorts of foods and chemicals in that food. People who go to McDonald's every day, they're addicted. If you find yourself eating any particular food constantly, you're addicted. The other thing I like is chocolate, right? Now, I used to make it myself, but then I stopped when I came here because I thought, oh, it's probably cleaner here than it is there. No, it's not. So anyway, that's what I understand. So I suppose we have to clean up our bodies, clean up our emotions, clean up our mind, clean up our energetic system, and um, understand what aspects of the matrix is hooked into us, right? What, what parts are we letting go? Now, do I think that's the last letting go I'm going to have around the matrix? Absolutely not. I would really hope that it'll be a little bit easier for me. You know, like, because when your awareness comes to it, I already understood the matrix and how people were getting stuck in it mentally. And I was talking about that before. But this was on a whole new level. And I, I, I feel, and, and, and I feel that um, hopefully I'll be able to, to be more aware of where it's, what, in what ways it hooked into me. You know, what are the circumstances? I did think, I did do something yesterday on it. I'm just trying to remember. I did a cleaning on it yesterday because once you, you start the process, then you can just go back in and clean more off. But you've got to know what you're cleaning. You can't, seriously, you can't go in and say, clean everything from the matrix from me, inverted matrix from me. It doesn't work like that. You can't do any healing without awareness. No healing happens without awareness. So that's what I wanted to say. I hope that you have a great um, week. And as I said, I'm sorry I can't do tonight, but I'm still weak. And I have a level of integrity in my work. I can't bullshit. I can't pretend. And um, if I'm if I if I really can't hold the space for a group, you know, I can I could I can hold the space for one person, but I couldn't hold the space for a group at this point. So I have to stick to that. And um, hopefully, you know, by the weekend, with the way I'm going, I will be able to. But in order to do that. I need to continue resting and being truthful to myself about what I'm feeling. So I'm going to love you and leave you. And I hope you have fabulous days. And I'll see you soon. Bye.